Elliot Grinch. Right, what's going on everyone uh, for Henry 8 here let's bring you another uh, tutorial GTA 5 LSPDFR whatever you you know whichever game you're playing because it, it pretty much applies to either one um, this has to deal with uh, people wondering why they lose frames per second the uh, frames per second rate um, for those that like to keep track I, I know I do you know and especially since I um figured this out pretty much you know it has worked wonders for me so hopefully me sharing this information with you will uh, assist you as well so you definitely notice that um your frames per second drops drastically and if you're not aware uh, the more plugins and scripts that you add I actually don't have a script folder in this this particular um, game game folder for uh, GTA 5 but anyway if you have a scripts folder and you add a bunch of scripts and definitely plugins you're gonna lose a lot of frames per second so if you're trying to maintain like myself I try to maintain 60 frame frames per second I try to stay in that rate or if you uh, turn off the v-sync as well which will increase um, the amount of frames per second on your game because you know you get astronomical numbers especially uh, without the modification without the uh, modified version of GTA 5 um, so you definitely see your numbers way in the hundreds above you know 150 on the mind sometime 170 better or better but um uh, when you have the v-sync on you still should maintain about you know at least a steady 60 frames per second but um just so you know what causes the drops in frame per second are plugins and scripts so the more plugins you have the more scripts you have definitely you know and, and, and just you know depending on the uh the person who um created the mod you know it, it you know it may like i said it, it may definitely um be a factor in why your frames per second uh go down so you know, like in most of my games now, you know, now I try to maintain, I just pretty much add for, for LSPDFR players, um, a lot more LSPDFR geared, uh, mods, as you can see, you know, I have tons of them, you know, and I'm going to show you in a, in a moment, I'm going to show definitely show you that, um, I have no frame per second drops, um, with a lot of the wonderful LSPDFR specific, uh, mods. And as you can see, I have, you know, rarely any actual plugins. I'm not saying I don't add them periodically, but like I said, you, you definitely have to, you know, install them one at a time and then check your frame frame per second uh, rate. So if you're trying to maintain that, um, you know, 60 frames per second uh, for better video quality when you're recording, then, um, you know, hopefully this advice will uh, help you like it helped me. So let's take a look at my game. And like I said, and you, you'll notice once again, all the LSPDFR uh, mods that I have installed. I have a lot of them. And there's a lot of good ones that you can actually, you know, do your LSPDFR patrol with. And, um, you know, it, it should help you out. So let's take a look at my game and you'll, you'll see. All right. Just bear with me. Let's start this game up. Okay, so I have my game loaded up, and um, let's turn on the uh, frames per second. I use a uh, Quant Five. You use whatever other um, software, and I believe um, Nvidia has a you know in their uh, software. If you have an Nvidia video card, which will also uh, show you the frames per second. So if you took, take a look at my on um, top right hand corner, you'll see my frame per second rate which is a steady, you know, 60, above 60, 62, three. But, um, and that's with a uh, V-Sync on. So if you take a look, this is the unmodified version of uh, Grand Theft Auto, Grand Theft Auto 5. So if I turn the V-Sync off, 
apply the changes. You'll take a look at my uh, frames per second rate, which is just, you know, you know, up there in the hundreds. You know, and that's also based on the location that you are at within the game. Because, you know, if you go into a, a area that populates uh, a lot of vehicles and pedestrians, things of that nature, you'll definitely see a change as well. So let's take it. I've seen, I've read, and, you know, and I, I've read pretty much more so, and where people express that um, also at nighttime, you, you'll see a difference in the uh, frame per second rate. So as you know, as the game of course starts uh, getting the juices flowing and pedestrians and fact things of that you know of that nature factor into the uh, frame per second rate as well. So let's take a look. Let me see. Uh, let me put this at nighttime. Let's see if there's any type of uh, significant difference. Let's go right into uh, 2200, which would be 10 o'clock. So I guess uh, maybe a little bit like a look to me it almost looked like it was a boost. But anyway, you get the um, what I'm what I'm speaking about. But anyway, let's let's go on duty. Take Franklin in here to uh, go on duty and um, let's take a look at the uh, frame per second rate after going on duty. So we're just going to use uh, any character. Look like it almost said 180 up there at one point. So now we go on duty. No, oh, new button set up. Okay, not bad. Enable, enable. So, of course, my game is going to reset first LSPDFR for the new buttons applied. <laughs> To police smart radio. So we're gonna force duty. So we force duty. So now, as you can see, as the uh, plugins are loading up, the LSPDFR plugins only. No uh, script, script hook plugins. <clears throat> you see, my frame per second rate has not changed pretty much. With V-Sync, this is with V-Sync off. Okay, let's let's over here. I'm using it's usually the same stolen, you know, stolen car pretty much, same location. So Control S. Let's get rid of this first. So we found the uh, low jack vehicle. Um. So, but anyway, as you can see. no significant change with uh v-sync off like it's still above in the 70s 60s which is still good so you know like i said i do prefer to have the v-sync um on so i, I think it like stabilizes the screen I may, I may be wrong anybody get in the comments and um you know tell us what v-sync actually does you know or maybe i'll look i'll look it up later but definitely seems like the the picture is more stable, stabilized, as you can see. So, but all in all, still 60 frames per second. So if you, you know, play your game in 1080 HD, as I do, when recording, you should not have any loss in your um, frame per second rate. So I was always looking for like real information about this and, and it was like, really couldn't find too many um, you know people that really expressed it so that I could really understand so hopefully with this tutorial it helps you out and um, like I said you just have to choose what you really really need in order to play <clears throat> you know especially in particular LSPDFR Grand Theft Auto you know so I haven't really <clears throat> I haven't tried this yet whether I don't think it really factors into the um like if you change in textures or adding vehicles as add-ons I don't really think that um, that that has a problem, but I will let you know. You know, so if you wanna just turn this off. We're not a, we're not available right now. Dispatch. 
So, you know, want to discuss it further, get in the comments. Uh, remember to like, share, comment this video, all right? It's definitely beneficial to all those who, uh, you know, take the time out to do tutorials. You know, it helps us out a lot. And, um, you know, I'll see you on the on another one, all right? Stay, stay safe and stay well. And uh, I'll catch up with you. 408 out.